Hey guys, what is up? Stick Boy here, back again for another reaction. And uh, I have to say, um, I am very pleased about two things. Uh, one is the fact that I'm enjoying getting back into Ruby. I'm really liking uh, what I'm seeing so far, uh, getting into Volume 3, um, for a lot of reasons. And I'm also really happy about the fact that I can put these on YouTube. I so far have not had any copyright issues, knock on wood, uh, with Volume 3, and uh, hopefully that will continue. But tonight uh, I plan on getting into um, Chapters 5 and 6 of, uh, of um, Volume 3, and uh, yeah, um, it's getting really interesting, and I, um, you know, I said before that you know, a lot of times I don't notice things the first time, or you know, I pro I see them but don't really process them until later. Um, and a couple of those things uh, is that I I do remember uh, I did go back and watch some of the earlier episodes of this um, out of Volume One, and I found out that that mastermind that's over uh, that that's kind of um, controlling Emerald and Mercury uh, is named Cinder. So, I'll remember that. Um, I also noticed that during the fight scene between uh, Winter and um, Crow, and I, that's another thing, is I, I remember Crow's name, and I remember Ruby mentioning an Uncle Crow earlier on. Uh, I had forgotten about that, but that just... Um, probably was a product of me not having watched the first two volumes in a very, very long time. Um, but I did notice his name was Crow. I did pick that up. And also, um, I noticed during the fight scene between Crow and Winter that um, Mercury noticed Crow and recognized him. And that's why he rushed off out of that fight. Um, presumably to warn Cinder and Ember um, what he saw. And what he actually knows about Crow, I'm not real sure, but I'm pretty sure we will get into that soon. So, anyways, that brings us up to speed. We are ready to go into Volume 5. Volume 5. Eventually we'll get to Volume 5. Can I just call them episodes? I get Volume and Chapter mixed up so bad. But anyways, we're about to go into the, the fifth installment of the third, you know, big installment. Uh, the, the fifth little installment of the third big installment <laughs> of Ruby. Volume 3, Chapter 5. Here we go. Let's just get into this thing before I get any dumber. Here we go, guys. In 3, 2, 1, play. <laughs> one of these days I'll get that right. Hey, is this the... That's the season two, isn't it? Yeah, that's the Volume 2 intro. And I just about got that one out of my head, too. Okay, here we go. This intro is so, it's so grim, so dark. I love 
love that halftime drop there at the end. And it happens in the middle, too. Alright, here we go. Alright, and we are battling again. Oh, Penny's in this thing. Well, that seems slightly unfair, considering what she did at the end of uh, Volume 1. Oh yeah, you gotta hurry things up. Okay, that's completely unfair. And victory goes to Penny and Seattle of Atlas! Thank you for a wonderful time. Yeah. Okay, I like you, Penny, but come on. <laughs> Ruby's not bothered by it at all. Penny! Ruby! <laughs> Ruby, this is my teammate. Seal Solid. Hi, okay. I'm Ruby. Ruby Rose. 15, hails from Patch, leader of Team Ruby. Status questionable. Okay. So, Penny, you, you uh, two are you steady. incredible out there. How do you keep control of all those swords? It's so cool. Penny, I believe it is best if we move on to our next location. Hmm. Somebody's a little controlling. Minute to talk. She's not an android, too, is she? So is she your friend, or...? Well, in a way. She's like Blake. But if Blake was ordered to spend time with you... Oh, so uh -huh. nice. Precisely. Does she know about... <laughs> you know... People, Bob, does not compute? Oh, no. General Ironwood doesn't really want anyone to know. There was an incident... Yeah, I would imagine. Too, but I was able to play it off. I would imagine that would make you a little bit sketchy for the tournament, if anybody knew. <laughs> Ruby, there's something I've been wanting to talk to you about. I want to stay at Beacon. Really? And I'll never let you do that. I know, but I have a plan. It's been precisely one minute, ma'am. I'll talk to you more soon, Ruby. Somebody is quite literal. Our next match will begin in 15 minutes. Oh my gosh, that's right, it's time for... Well, now it's our turn. Oh yeah. Just remember to keep proper form. Back to Team Ruby. Who are we, uh, who are we battling? Atlas, what can we expect? Well, seeing as their Kingdom, Academy, and Armed Forces are all merged as one, I think we can expect strict, militant fighters with advanced technology and carefully rehearsed strategy. Okay. Or whatever they are. Yeah. You wife's me, right? The Aries. I am. I take you pretty good with us, then. I do my best. Yeah. yeah. My dad was good, too. On a little dust shop of his own. Till your father's company ran him out of business. Oh. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. Sure you are. Hey, why don't you... Hey, why don't you? That's what you sound like. Uh, well, these two are just a hair bundle of joy, aren't this they? This is just my normal hair. Ooh, really? Yeah. Is that a problem? You should try rollerblading sometime. It's super fun. It'd probably take you a while, though, since you're so, you know, top-heavy. <laughs> Excuse me? Ah, uh, here we go. I think, isn't making Yang angry a uh, bad strategy? Two. One. Begin! Okay. <laughs> Figure out what to do about that sonic trumpet of his. Should have elected Ruby to keep up with her.
Yeah, I think Ruby would have definitely done better in this fight. You should cool off. Get it? Because you're angry. Again, making her angry is not the best strategy. Too bad all that money can't buy you skill. This uh, team is annoying. What do we got happening here? Nice. Well, he didn't even need the Devil's Realm. He could just be a four all by himself. It's quite a remarkable one at that. Ladies and gentlemen, please draw eyes on Flint Cole's Killer Quartet! How is Yang gonna handle this speedster? Ooh, eyes. You know, you're actually kind of pretty when you're angry. Shut up, shut up, shut up! I wasn't trying to say you should go on a diet. I was saying you really need to go on a diet. That's it! Get back. It looks as though Miss Schnee's aura has been completely depleted. She sacrificed herself to take out Flint. Okay. Wait a minute. What's this? Ladies and gentlemen, Flint Cole remains standing. Well, that's not good. You did it, Flint! Don't worry about her. She's easy. But kind of annoying. Ooh, it looks like Yang's angry. And you wouldn't like her when she's... Upset. Well, that's kind of what I was saying. Yo, Neon, go! I definitely don't think Y sacrificing herself was the right move, though, in any... in any way. And regardless of the outcome here. for Flint. Never miss a beat. Never miss a beat. Never miss a beat. Oh. You should know... You should know better than to skate on something like that. Yeah, if you can hit her, you can knock her out. Did Yang just knock them both out? Where is Weiss? Are you okay? I may not be singing for a while. You know, no. at least I'm she's, not uh... sure that was proper form. Oh, ha ha! <laughs> we lost. We lost. Team Funky lost. That was. That was amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys were super crazy. Awesome. We should definitely party together sometime. Right, Flip? Maybe. That was a gutsy moves, me. I did. I'm not sure it was the right move. Yeah. I mean, just because Yang finished him two on one oh. or one on two doesn't mean what? Oh, nothing. We're just going to be making a slight. Alteration to the plan. Hmm. Was that Penny that what she had? Me? It means that this will be even easier than we thought. Is that Penny? Oh man. Are they gonna sabotage Penny whenever she's in the fight? Like She's hard to the right thing. He's just maybe. Sometimes I'm not even sure he has a heart. He, so, I, yeah, I don't know. He's not a guardian yet. 
They didn't choose themselves. I simply believe I found the right candidate. Ever since the day I met her, I had a feeling she would be the one. She's strong, intelligent, caring, but most importantly, she's ready. Hmm. I'm gonna fear her. Okay, I didn't know what to make about those two. Flint, Flint and Neon, is that their names? I see that they, uh, I see that they earned their own outro, though. So that episode was mostly just the fighting uh, between uh, between Team Ruby and uh, whatever that other team was called. Didn't catch, didn't remember. All right. Anyways, let's move on into um, chapter six. Yeah, chapter six. Not episode six. Chapter six. Let's pull this back up because it got kind of screwy there. Give me just a second. Alright, this one is entitled Fall. A uh, very simple title. That can mean uh, a lot of different things. So, uh, let's jump into it. Here we go. In three, two, one, play. Hey, there we go. Oh, we got this again. Anymore. See, I, I've tried so hard to get this out of my head, getting into volume three, so I could learn the new intro, and now they're throwing this back in my head again. Uh huh. Come on, I don't need two intros for one chapter, especially when. These chapters are relatively short. Final round of the tournament. That is no surprise at all. Has been exemplary. Thank you, Professor Osborne. But I would never have made it this far without my teammates. Personally, I think it's the other way around. I'm sorry, but I don't believe we've been introduced. Name's Crow. Crow is a trusted colleague of mine. Professor, okay. if you don't mind me asking, why have you called me? Please. That is an interesting is question. What is your favorite fairy tale? I'm sorry. Fairy tales, stories from your tribe. But Answer the question. You must remember some of them. Well, there's the tale of the two brothers, the shallow sea, the girl in the tower. What about the story of the season? Oh, of course. A callous old man who refuses to leave his home is visited by four traveling sisters. 
the first mm -hmm. understands his reclusive nature and urges him to use his time in solitude to reflect and meditate. The second brings him fruits and flowers, tending to his crops and revitalizing his garden. The third warms the man's heart, convincing him to step outside and embrace the world around him. And the fourth and final sister begs him to look at all that he has and be thankful. In return for their kindness, the man grants the maidens incredible powers so that they may continue to help others all over the world. Mm. They graciously accept and promise to share their gifts with the people of Remnant until the end Somehow of the I feel like this is more than a fairy tale. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. The four maidens. My mother loved that story. Would you believe me if I told you that one's been around since I was a boy? You're not that old, Professor. Well, <laughs> would you believe me if I told you it was true? No. I beg you, your pardon. You should. Think about if it. If I were to tell you that there were four maidens existing in this world that could wield such tremendous power... I mean, we've already met Winter, haven't we? You mean, like, the semblance? Like magic. I... Yeah. First time here, and it's pretty crazy. You're serious? Well, do I look like I'm joking? No. Why? Why are you telling me this? Hmm. We are telling you, Hiranikos, because we believe that you are next in line to receive the Fall Maiden's powers. Hmm. Sorry, we're late. Yeah, we. Wait. What is this? Who are you? You know who we are. We're still the same teachers and headmasters you met when you arrived at Beacon. Except we've got a little part time job. We are the protectors of this world, and we need your help. She doesn't know her own strength. Where are we going? The vault. Under the school. I would not be comfortable in that elevator. shaft to get stuck in. I'm sure you must have questions. Maybe one or two. Yeah, I can think of a couple right off the top of my head. I don't understand. You said I was next in line to receive the Maiden's power. What do you mean by that? The Maidens have existed for thousands of years. But much like in nature, the seasons change. No two summers are alike. When a maiden dies, her power leaves her body and seeks out a new host, ensuring that the seasons are never lost and that no individual can hold on to the power forever. So, how does the power choose? Through a series of stupid and convoluted rules. Bro. Hey, don't get mad because I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> he usually is. He just doesn't have a filter. But as time went on, it was discovered that the selection process was much more intimate. Intimate? As we understand it now, mm. when a maiden dies, the one who is in her final thoughts is the first candidate to inherit her power. Unless it's a dude or someone like that. And the power goes to someone random. <laughs> Why tell me all of this now? Why not wait until I've graduated? It doesn't get convoluted. Honestly, We've run out of time. I don't know if you've noticed, but things are getting a lot scarier out in the world. The tensions are high. The grim are growing stronger, more prevalent. And it's not going to be much longer before this peace we've all been enjoying so much goes out the window. You're not talking about war. Not a war between nations. We can fill you in on the details once we know you're with us. For now, all you need to know is that one of the maidens was attacked. And for the first time in history, 
Part of her power was stolen. Is that... The current fall me. Amber. It's an appropriate She's name for a fall so name. For now. We're using state-of-the-art Atlas technology to keep her stable. But there is a lot about this situation that is unprecedented. What do you mean? Well, we don't know what will happen when she passes. Won't her power just transfer to the next host? Look who's been listening. She is smart. Under normal circumstances, yes. But this is a delicate situation. It's not uncommon for the last thoughts of the slain to be of their attack. Uh -huh. And to make matters worse, no one's ever seen the power split like this before. For all we know, it will seek out its other half. Her assailant. And that would not go well. Wouldn't do well, well as at all, would it? So they need you to get into her thoughts. So that she doesn't transfer her power to her attacker. All of this is true. Why keep it secret? If this girl is so important, if if we're truly on the brink of war, why not tell everyone? Um from what we understand. It used to be common knowledge. It would create chaos Excuse right me. now. How do you think legends and fairy tales get started? Even the craziest ones come from somewhere. Our group was founded in order to protect both mankind and the maidens. Those hungry for power hunted them with the hope of inheriting their strength. And as you can imagine, the ones that succeeded weren't exactly the kind of people you'd want to have unimaginable power. And so this Brotherhood chose to remove the Maidens from the public eye, allowing their existence to fade away in order. The things we're telling you go against hundreds of years of human history. Religion. No one would want to believe us. It'd cause an uproar. It would cause panic. And we all know when okay, that would really panic, clog to chaos. our walls. Mm, same thing, right? Which is why you would like to... I'll do it. If you believe this will help humanity, and I will become your fall mate. That's what you wanted, isn't it? It is. But I'm afraid it's not that simple. Given Amber's condition, you won't be able to inherit her power naturally. However, General Ironwood believes he has a solution. Uh, you're not going to ask her to... Atlas has been studying aura from a more scientific standpoint. I'm not gonna ask her to kill her, are you? What it's made of, how it can be used. We've made significant strides, and we believe we've found a way to capture it. Capture it and cram it into something else. Or in your case, someone else. That's classified. Wrong. The feeling is mutual. The desperate times call for desperate measures. And these are indeed desperate times. We can't transfer Amber's power to you, but we can give you what those powers are bound to. Her aura. Her life will become intertwined with yours. The question is, what's that going to do to you? You have an important decision before you listen, folks. There's no guarantee this transfer will work. This seems There's like no a... There's no telling if you will be the same person if it does. It seems like a decision that I you don't need you to, to make. Take time to think on this oh, yeah. But understand. Don't need to make it so Before fly. the vital festival is over, we will need your answer. The assailant that attacked the fall maiden has made their first move. And there's no telling when their next move will be. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder now, if she might be. Been waiting for the one on one final. All right. Barty, why don't you explain the rules? 
Uh, it's quite simple, Peter. Instead of a bracket system, each round of the finals will be randomly determined immediately before the match takes place. But like any good hunt, there will be zero time to prepare. Ah, yes, yes. Now let's see who hmm. our first match will be. Penny is going to be a problem. Oh boy. Yang Xiao Long and Mercury Black. Well, this could be trouble for Mer for uh, for Yang. Would all other combatants please leave the stage? From what I saw, Mercury is a little bit less scary than Emerald. Yang might have a little bit better chance you here, but... You better not go easy on me. <laughs> you wish. But still. Three, two, one... Alright Yang, you're gonna have to get angry. But I bet Mercury is smart enough to know better than to make you angry. Oh man. This is this really is like Super Smash Brothers. He's off the he's off the field, but then he's not. She may not be down. Cause that. Well, now I just about have to go to the next volume or next chapter. God damn it! I'm never gonna get that right. Next episode. Yeah, what caused that?
Now wait a second though. Wait a second though, because didn't didn't Mercury didn't they cause an illusion uh, when when Mercury and Emerald when they played uh, when they fought against uh, the other team from Beacon, uh, the team with Coco and uh, the other guy. Um, he created an illusion, remember, um, where uh, where Coco thought she saw her teammate coming up, but then he just disappeared, and it distracted her long enough for Emerald to get up behind her. So one of them has the power to, one of them must have the power to make that happen. I mean, uh, it, it does seem like Cinder is kind of sabotaging, or, or not sabotaging, but is kind of um, manipulating things behind the scenes. So yeah, we're going to have to go into 7, because I need to know, <laughs> I need to have some idea what caused that uh, before I uh, end tonight, but I do need to stop after this episode, because um, I do have to work in the morning, so... But we are gonna we are gonna see if we can get a little bit closer to the bottom of this. If I can get the video to pull up. Let's just, you know. See if we can. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. Just takes a minute. But yeah, I'm very curious as to what that was all about because that's uh that's really, really dirty. Anyways, here we go. Three, two, one, play. This video presented by the new movie. And yeah, I didn't really want to go into. I didn't really want to go into three of them, but it is what it is. The situation demands it. This development is a little bit upsetting, so... Let's see if we can shed some light on this. I'm afraid we're not going to, though. Maybe all consequences and no explanation. I'm sorry. I want to be feared. What? Impossible! What did it... I want to be powerful. Someone call the police! How did she do that? <sighs> How did you do that? Hmm. Don't. Is she the one Unless that caused the illusion? You want them to hear you. What do you want? I've already told you, and I don't like repeating myself. I didn't do anything. Just leave me alone. I know my fair share of liars and thieves. Stealing is an art of patience, coordination, and in a pinch, slight of hand. But you didn't steal that ring in your pocket. You took it right before the jeweler's eyes. And he smiled. Who are you? You will question everything you know. 
This is impossible. Are Mercury and Ember actually bad guys, or are they being Sorry. controlled? Follow me, and you'll never be hungry again. Thank you. What are you looking at? I'm looking for Marcus Black. There you go. That's the assassin? And you're his son. We saw your fight from the tree line. He's taught you well. Guess so. What's your name? Mercury. Mercury. Tell me, are you anything like your father? So what's in it for me? We don't need him. Everything was going fine. Ugh. Do not mistake your place. My dad always said, if you need to know a city, ask the rats. Well, oh, gorgeous. <laughs> so, let me get this straight. You could have gone to anyone for help. You could have made a deal with a gang leader. Paid off some huntsman that had strayed from their righteous path. We have here. But instead, you choose to seek an audience with me. You're the one we need. Your skill. Your ability to lead those beneath you. You're an exceptionally valuable man, Adam. And we've put a lot of thought into... Then you're clearly not thinking mm -hmm. straight. If you truly understood me, then you would know that coming here was a mistake. The White Fang is not an organization for hire. We are a force of revolution. Okay, Adam is... Uh, I believe our plan will be beneficial for all parties involved. Blake was involved with him in one of the I trailers. an associate in Vale. He and I are working but on of a course I didn't of our own. No, but we can't I didn't realize that until forces. later. Way later. We need... What you need is to leave. You're asking my men to die for your cause. A human cause. That is not an idea I am willing to entertain. Very well. But... What was that about? Nothing. We need to finish preparing. The train will be here at dawn. So now... Okay. There's another task we must attend to. Remember the plan. Exactly as discussed. Not a foot out of place. Okay, I think I know who that is. Hope that's not a poison apple. Hmm. Oh, she she is the one. She is the one creating the illusion. That's not Amber. 
remember, is it? It would make sense if it was. I think I liked Ember very much, but now I really don't like her. Huh? It's an illusion again. Even, how did they even find her? Please don't. So Crow knows exactly who they are and what they did. I wonder if Crow knows of the uh, illusion the trick that, the connection before it was complete. that Emerald can clearly do. Yes, it's an emptiness. It burns. Like hunger. I like it. Yes. I will claim what is ours. Thank you. Looks to me like she has enough power it's without you, sir. I swear the fall maiden's power. Forget it. It's time I return to Mistralite. <laughs> This. It's like she's about to make you an offer you can't refuse. We could have gone to anyone for help, but we chose you, Adam Taurus. Our plan will be beneficial for both of us. Or one of us. So, which will it be? Yeah, you did it, sis! There's not going to be a next time. 
Blondie. Yang Xiao Long, stand down! Ah! My leg! My leg! I think your leg will be fine. Please, somebody help him! Can you do something? We need to get this boy to a hospital. Grab a blanket. His leg will be fine. Solid trick. You don't understand. He attacked me, I swear! Stow it! You've already caused enough of a scene. Here, we've got an ambulance ready to go. <sighs> Hope they'll be okay. That girl won't leave his side. We'll take good care of both of them. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Oh, Doc, tell me. Will I ever walk again? Ow! What's your deal? Ugh, a headache. One mind I can handle, but two is a stretch. Well, you all performed marvelously. Driver included. So, you think it worked? A I would, terrible tragedy I would think so. This afternoon during the one-on-one -on -one rounds of the Vital Festival Tournament. I don't know what Beacon's headmaster is teaching his students, but that was disgraceful. Completely uncalled for. Despite Atlas reinforcements, local authorities are still calling on any available huntsmen to aid in suppressing the spike in grim activity. Hey, I was watching that. Shut up. Is this how you treat a patient? Ow, too tight. Al Mercury put on a wonderful show. He was quite brave. These things aren't exactly cheap, you know. So what's next? You and I will ensure that our next matchup goes just as smoothly. What about me? You get to lay low until the end. We wouldn't want people to see you on your feet and have this all be for naught. <sighs> yeah, that's Can true. Do. Requires that he disappear, huh? Well, all right. Admittedly, not happy with that development. Extremely unfair to Yang. Hey everybody, I'm very happy to say that our movie Laser Team is headed to theaters this January. So head over in to fact, Laser that's Team not even forgivable. To see if it's playing in your city. If it is, buy a ticket. And if it's not, we've given you the ability to set up a screening in your town. Don't worry, I will definitely not be buying a ticket. For more details on that, go to LaserTeamTheMovie.com. Thanks, gorgeous. Because I have to sit through your ad. Calling me gorgeous won't help either. I have to sit through this ad, your ad, to get to the end of this video, so that I can stop in the right place. Anyways, um, yeah, not uh, not happy with that development really at all. Um, completely unfair to Yang, and it doesn't look like um, it looks like it's at least going to be a while before anything is resolved, before um, the truth comes out. So, yeah. I'm sure that we're going to see some more shenanigans in the tournament, and if we do, then uh, maybe there'll be some, some, uh, what's the word? Ret I don't think retribution is the right word, but vindication, maybe? Anyways, uh, that's a lot. That's a lot for one video, so um, I'm going to end it here. I gotta work in the morning, so I can't keep going, or I would likely binge the rest of this tonight. But, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the reaction. Let me know if you did. And until next time, which will be probably very soon, I am Stickboy, and I will see you later.